Nathaniel, what are you doing? It's not like you to be partying alone. <laughs> well, that's why I want to be alone and unconscious. <clears throat> Believe me, whatever problems you've got at the Spectator cannot compare to my day from hell. So if you don't mind, I'd like to join you. Chuck, it was, uh, it was all my fault. What was? There was nothing I could do. He cornered me. You? My father? You tell me what happened, what did he do? What did he make you do? What? Before we do this, the microphone. Oh, no, we're not actually going to have sex. I just want to take a couple snapshots to make it look like we did. All that matters is that Lily believes she lost two husbands to me. I'm fine being your Elliot Spitzer scandal, but I'm a pay-for-play kind of guy. The microphone first. I mean... Don't do this. My father will screw you and screw you over. It's not too late to do the right thing. Behind the curve, as always, Chuck. It is too late. What is this? Some kind of joke? I know I said I wouldn't help you, but I changed my mind. I have what you're looking for. They say nothing inspires forgiveness. Quite like revenge. The microfilm was in that envelope. I swear. If you don't find it and hand it over, all the torture you wished on Lily, it'll seem like child's play. My father's threats are an idol, neither am I. There's only one person who knew I had it, who might know where it is. Why is this person taking so long getting back to you? I... I don't know. Where are you going? Does Blair need you to come over to kill a spider? I'm not wasting any more time. So you're giving up? What a shocker. You're right. You know me so well.